until today, I deal with the pain of loneliness. So let's imagine there's two guys, guy number one and guy number two. Guy number one graduated from college with a degree in accounting a couple of years ago. Before college, he was always good with numbers. And he had a plan that he was going to go to college, become an accountant, and within five to 10 years, make the kind of money that he really wants to make in order to make a good living for himself. However, this guy was always athletically inclined. Ever since he was in high school, he was an athlete. He was an athlete in high school and he was an athlete in college. However, as a couple of years passed after graduating college, he kind of put athletics on the back burner because of work and because of all the responsibilities. Now this guy has a good group of friends who he loves, but the problem is he believes that they're headed in a path in life that he doesn't necessarily really want to go to. He sees that they're getting out of shape and they're wasting their life and they're all kind of complaining about their jobs, even though it's what they chose because they really got bored of their jobs. They all seem really burnt out at this point, living paycheck to paycheck with the high rent and all the expenses that they have to take care of. And at the same time, they don't really feel that passion for the field that they thought they would be passionate about as they went to college. Now this guy, because he was always athletically inclined, he always dreamed of becoming a personal trainer. And he introduced the idea to some of his friends, but when he did, although they had his best interest at heart, they told him, oh, nah, man, it's too competitive. It's way too hard. You should just stick to your job. If it fails, it's not going to look good. This, that, and the other. And his family told him the same thing. His family told him, let's stick to what we know. Let's not do that because that's going to put you in a risky position. And instead, keep yourself safe. Keep yourself dependent on your income. And in 30, 40 years, when you retire, maybe then you can start to enjoy the things that you really want to enjoy. The days go by. This man feels more and more regretful. And the same exact pattern keeps repeating itself. He wants to do this, but he never gets around starting his personal trainer journey. Nothing seems to change. And then there's guy number two. Guy number two is in the exact same position as guy number one, where he graduated with a degree in accounting because he was always good with numbers and stuff like that. He had a natural inclination for it. And this man was also an athlete. He always wanted to become a personal trainer, but one day he decided to start doing his research and develop a plan and he understood that this plan was going to take several years before he really started to see success and really started living the life that he wants on his own terms. He talked to his friends about it. He talked to his family about it. All of them gave him negative advice, telling him that you shouldn't do this. This is dangerous. It might not work. If it doesn't, you're going to lose hundreds of thousands of dollars and you don't want to put yourself in that position. But this guy put himself on the path to become that anyway. Even though he put athletics on the back burner, he went back and did some research. He started eating healthier and training healthier and studying exactly what it takes to become a personal trainer. He knew that doing this was going to take a lot of energy out of him, both physically and mentally, but he stuck to it anyways. The group of friends that he was part of, although he loved them, he only hung out with them once or maybe twice a month because he was just super busy. And at the same time, he didn't want to be talking to his friends about this personal training business online that he started because he knew that they wouldn't guide him the right way and that they would give him negative advice. So he starts growing his business and after about a year, he sees just a little bit of results, small results. And that's when loneliness starts to hit him. He feels lonely because he feels like his friends and family cannot relate to him. Sure, some of them are supporters, they're passive supporters more so, and also, they all operate from the average and from the fear mentality that this is going to work, you shouldn't do that, you should stay comfortable, you should stay in your comfort zone. This goes on for about another year, and in this year, which is two years from the day he started, he starts noticing massive success in his business. His business is now making pretty decent money, almost what he was making as an accountant, and he starts seeing positive results and he starts gaining self-confidence. The year after that, although he's still dealing with loneliness and he's losing some friends and even his family members, he's become a little distant from them. He succeeds more success in his business and another year after that, his business is finally where he needs it to be. He worked on himself, he worked on the business, he studied, he became an absolute guru at this one thing until eventually it became the kind of business that he wanted it to become. And then three years later from the day he started, Finally, he's living life on his terms and he made the kind of friends that he really needed to make because they all value the same exact things that he does. He now looks back on the previous three years and he is now proud of himself for overcoming the challenges that were thrown his way. Now, following your dreams is absolutely not an easy thing to do. I'm talking to you from experience. For the past three years, I've been following my path and following my dreams of becoming not just a content creator, but a personal development slash life coach. I love doing this. This is something I always wanted to do. 
Now, let me give you a bit of a backstory. So I graduated as a pharmacist in 2019 at the age of 25. I chose pharmacy because it was a field that I was decent at and I thought it was interesting and still until today I do, but I didn't have that huge passion for it. Ever since I was 21 years old, I've been focusing a lot on personal development, even while I was still in pharmacy school. I was reading books, looking up videos and watching videos, going to courses, attending courses. Some of them were expensive ones, but I did it because that was my path and I had to honor my path. Long story short, I worked as a pharmacist for the past three years and I was pumping videos here on YouTube for the past three years. And up until December, which was two months ago, I was a full-time pharmacist. Right now, I'm only a part-time pharmacist to give this which is YouTube and life coaching, personal development coaching, dating coaching, to give this the full-time effort that it really deserves because this is what I really dream of. This is what's going to allow me to live the life of my dreams because I love doing it. And I tell this story to you because till today, I deal with the pain of loneliness. I'm not saying this for you to feel bad for me because to be honest, I don't even feel bad for myself. I say this to you because you may relate to the fact that you are feeling lonely right now if you're on the path to achieving or if you're on the path to start planning for your dreams. I right now, I feel like many people can't relate to me. My family mostly can't relate to me. My friends can't relate to me. Even though I love my friends and I love my family, I just can't feel like they really fully relate to me because I don't wanna live the kind of life of the same pattern that they are. There's nothing wrong with the life they're living, don't get me wrong, and that doesn't mean by any means that they're not successful. But the way I see it is, if I wanna follow my dreams, I have to honor my path and I have to honor my truth. And the only way I'm going to do that is if I put myself full-time on the path to success. Starting a YouTube channel regarding personal development and dating is something that I had in mind before I even graduated pharmacy school. And the reason why I chose to do that is because it is something that I absolutely love. I am so fascinated by human behavior. I'm so fascinated about teaching you guys right here the knowledge that I know. I'm so fascinated about anything and everything related to personal development, literally anything. I could talk your ear off for hours if you were listening to me. But the whole point is, I personally deal with loneliness because of this. And even before the first day that I started doing this, the first video I recorded, I knew this was part of the plan. I knew that loneliness was part of the plan. I knew that loneliness was part of doing what I needed to do to become the kind of person and to achieve the kind of results that I want out of my life. Because think about it this way, when you're following your dreams, it's something that not many people are doing. Most people are simply living comfortably. They're living comfortably, they're doing what they've always known how to do, and they're doing what their parents and their friends are telling them to do, or did themselves, but they're not necessarily following their path. And when you follow your path truthfully and you follow your dreams, you are separating yourself from the pack and therefore you are lonely. Think about it this way, who's gonna relate to you if you're really following your dreams? Only the people who they themselves are following their dreams, which to be completely honest, they're not that many people. And on this kind of path, there's gonna be a lot of negativity that you're gonna see. The bottom line is when you follow your dreams, you will feel like a lone wolf, especially at the beginning. And you're probably going to hear negative things that you really don't want to as you're doing this. Even for myself, there are people who literally grew up with me as we were kids and they knew me, we both knew each other as we were kids. And when they found out that I made a YouTube channel, they started talking shit about me. What does he know about dating and relationships? How does he so sure that what he has to offer is valuable? How does he really know what he's talking about? But at the end of the day, when I hear comments like those, I just laugh and I say, you know what? God bless these people. Because number one, they're judging me out of ignorance. Number two, they don't know where I'm going and they don't have a specific plan maybe for their own lives that they know where they're going. So the bottom line is, if you're following your dreams like that, expect a lot of things like this to happen. And you have to be completely okay with that. I myself, I'm completely okay with being lonely for a certain amount of time. As social a person I am, I'm still completely okay with that because I know that greatness is on the other side of it. I know that I'm on the path to honoring my truth and honoring my mission as a man and following my dreams. I know that that is a duty that I owe to myself. I know that every single day that I put the work in, I'm getting one step closer to my goals, one step closer to my goals, one step closer to my goals, until eventually I achieve my goals and I think I'm pretty damn close if you ask me. When is it gonna happen? I have no idea, but I do know one thing. I'm getting closer and closer to my goals. But the whole point is, you will deal with loneliness when you're following your path in life and when you're following your dreams because this is something that most people are not doing. And because it's something that most people are not doing, the price that you have to pay is a price of loneliness. I'm telling you from experience. And listen, I do have support friends. I do have supportive family members. But at the end of the day, it still does feel lonely because I'm on a path that they simply are not on. They can't relate to. Does this mean I'm better than anyone else? No, not at all. But when you're following your dreams truthfully as a person, you're going to see that not many people are doing the same. 
that's what's gonna make you lonely. That's what's gonna make you lonely, especially at the beginning for a small period of time. Later afterwards, when you kind of make it and achieve your goals, you're gonna find many other people who are at the top with you, who you can network with and become close friends with because they value the same exact things that you do. But for the time being, for the first few years, you're going to have to suffer. You're going to have to deal with loneliness and be completely okay with that. Don't feel sorry for yourself, and I'm not trying to get you to feel sorry for me, but this is just the truth of life. It's a path that I chose. It's not like I'm lonely just because I'm lonely. I still have friends, I still have family members, but this specific lifestyle, this specific path I'm on, it's a lonely path, and it's meant to be lonely. It's not for everyone. So if you watch this video and you feel like you relate more to guy number one, then you definitely have to double down on the things that you're really passionate about to follow your dreams and do a lot of research, extensive amount of research. And if you truly want to follow your dreams, you have to be prepared to be lonely for at least a couple of years, at the very least. Because here's how I see it. You're either going to live with the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. For me personally, I couldn't live with the pain of regret. I couldn't fathom living with the pain of regret. I'd rather die trying at something that I truly believe in as opposed to living on my deathbed with regret. And if you don't follow your path and find out a way to start following your dreams and make your dreams a reality, one day you're going to be on your deathbed and you are going to regret not following your dreams and not finding a way to make it happen somehow, despite how hard it is. If on the other hand, you're on the path of guy number two and you relate more to guy number two, then I'm just telling you that it's only a matter of time and I relate to you personally because I know how it feels. All you need to do is just keep showing up, stick to the game plan, make the game plan a reality, make the game plan your life, Take it day by day, take it step by step, keep improving, keep showing up, and eventually you're going to live the kind of life that you wanna live, and you will no longer be lonely because you will start networking with the same people who have the same goals as you. So as long as you stick to the game plan, you will eventually feel proud of yourself for number one, honoring your truth, and for number two, eventually living your truth.